Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you. I'm so happy to see you. Okay, today we are going to talk about, don't think I forgot, I didn't. It's very dust filled again though. Oh, that's always a good sign. That's always a good sign. Bloop, throw some over my shoulder. You get some, I get some. Probably you get some. Okay. I'm gonna show you a different kind of fairy dust. Do you already see it? Do you see that I've already <laughs> done and had to redo a video because of my imperfection practice? It just did not work out. Uh, let me tell you what my mistake was. It wasn't anything to do with my amazing performance. It wasn't anything to do with my top notch, notch advanced bitches content. It had nothing to do with any of that. It had nothing to do with this right here. It had nothing to do, it had nothing to do with any of that. It had to do with the fact that I had my address. <laughs> because um, I read something the other day. <laughs> I read something the other day that um, an INFJ, which is me, is, um, an oblivious queen and I thought that is so fucking true just sitting here oblivious to you know just showing everybody my address what else do you need my social let me just put my social security card right here. blood type you know <laughs> so those are the kind of oblivious queen errors that I make so that's why you already see some confetti so let's do fucking confetti okay this is another kind of fairy dust. So remember we talk about how magic wands are everywhere? Well, fairy dust is in more places than you think too, and confetti is one of those places. Um, didn't realize confetti had a little, had a, has a little noise to it, has a pleasant sound. All right, so you ready for some? Ready for some fairy dust? All right, <gasps> some for you, some for me, and some for Ugly, and some for us again. And just notice how that, is it in my mouth? Um, just notice, um, it's not on my food plan. Notice how that just gave you a little lift. Just, just, just take a second, just let's sit for just a second and then let's do it again, okay? You ready? Just want you to notice and I want you to feel your feeling. I just want you to check in with your little self and I want you to rate on a scale of one to 10 how um, joyful do you feel in this moment right here right now not a second ago but right here right now how joyful do you feel and give yourself a number you got it okay ready okay now let's do this ready one two. don't pressure <gasps> oh there's your fairy dust oh it's so amazing okay now I want you to recalibrate scale of one to ten how joyful do you feel isn't that amazing? And if you didn't feel a shift, that's okay. It's not time to feel a shift. But if you did, isn't that fucking amazing that we can create a thing and there can be elements about it that when they come together, they create magic and not figuratively, not in, oh, a dream mode that just makes me happy, but literally, you just did your own experiment, literally give you a bump of joyfulness. They give you a little lift, all right? So we get to do this, and in fact, I don't believe that we um, get to, and I don't believe we have to. I believe that it is our, um, our sacred duty to do so. Like, you need to go get some confetti. Now, I am going to have to vacuum, and, and I, truth be told, one of the first things people say to me constantly is, not constantly, because it's not like I'm out there throwing confetti on everybody, although I would like to be. Um, oh, vacuum, oh, oh no, 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 no. What about this, what about that? And um, I'm fortunate enough to have an amazing, amazing, brilliant woman who um, takes care of my home for me. And, um, oh, what, it, what is she gonna say about this? And I'm like, well, when she gets here, 
um, we're both gonna throw confetti on each other and then I'm gonna do a few passes with the vacuum because I'm not a fucking monster and I know how to clean up after myself. <laughs> and if, if it's too annoying or whatever, she will, I will pay her more or whatever, but, and it would be totally worth it. This costs money. We spend money on ourselves. Advanced bitches live a first class life. Like this is what we do. And I would honor her and honor her contribution, but she's not only going to continue to help me take, in, take care of my home and take care of me and my family, but she is going to um, get to experience some of the joy as well, if she would like, and bitch she did, and we had a great time and we laughed so hard. Okay, all of this magic comes from this book this is my fa I'm, a, I'm a you know I'm a hoe for um, self-help books this was my favorite self-help book of last year and it is going to be my favorite self-help book until another one takes it I mean it, it, it if someone asked me like next year and I have a like this year so 2019 which is my favorite self-help book um, uh, nonfiction for this year I'll, I'll have I'll have an answer for that but I will tell them but a book that's better than that is the one from last year called Joyful. Like until, you know, and, and, and this may never, like for the rest of my life, nothing may compare to this. And I'll tell you a little bit more why later. But I, what, what I want to get to is this is a book. Her name is Ingrid Fatelli. She is a genius. Uh, the title is The Surprising Power of Ordinary Things to Create Extraordinary Happiness extraordinary happiness all right and she has several categories she's a designer and she did uh, some amazing research and there's some wonderful stories in here and they're just so great but okay so here are just a few categories of where we get joy from abundance look at this by itself this is fine by itself this is fine I wouldn't say like, oh, it gives joy, but when you have the abundance, it does, it does create joy. Um, just think of um, Kid in the Candy Store, all the abundance. And so Kid in the Candy Store, what else does it have? Color. This is a beautiful, well, you know, I'm part, also a hope for pink. Um, beautiful color. And there's some sparklies in here. And so that's light. There's a magic to it. <gasps> you didn't know that was coming. There's a magic and a surprise. That was a surprise. So just these different elements. And you know, the only reason that I do the Bitchifesto, and now even more so because I'm be becoming even more astounded day to day to day to day, how much um, magic is capable like I didn't know there was this much uh, but um, that we get to celebrate so and that's why I do the bitch of festo is so I can have a magical life so I highly 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 recommend this book um, and I highly one of the okay so how this came to be so you know how some people have candy in their homes well I'm a food addict and bulimic and I kind of have those things in my house because I'm addicted to them and or I can't have food in my house or candy or anything so <laughs> I can't have food in my house I can have food in my house I just it's not helpful for me to have a lot of sugar in my house or candy I don't need the temptation um we'll talk about willpower depletion another day um so how cool is this to be able to have a bowl full of confetti just sitting out like a normal person just sitting out like somebody some people have candy we have confetti bitch so in this book she tells a story of going to um someone's office and i believe the business is a temporary tattoo business and when she gets there she says um th that she includes some confetti in every single um, package that she sends out and that she has a drawer full of confetti and when I read that I was it was one of those like <gasps> we can have a joy drawer full of confetti and ever since then I have not only had a drawer full of confetti but I um, have a bowl full of confetti sitting out at the ready whenever we need all right there's your lesson bye I love you you're amazing bye